OK， 大家好，我是 J， a y 然后 Welcome to Trinity。OK， I'm J a y and Welcome to Trinity。OK， so today we going to recap over the previous session。OK， so um previously I've been talking about is like there is a new way to play orcas。OK， so what is it？ OK， so basically what I'm going to introduce you today is Cydra Cyber Dragon。电子龙 ，OK。So how does this deck has the synergy with Orcus 天晴呢？怎样有这种联系呢 ？OK， how do we have connections？ OK， so basically that the most common way both everything is a machine， 都是机械族 ，is all machine types。OK， and some of it like this Cyber Dragon you can special summon。Okay, without any conditions, if opponents control more, then you can special summons. Okay, there is a slight synergy, and the best thing is that Cyber Dragon Nester, this Dragon, has the perfect synergy with Dingrid Su, especially. Okay, so how how I will explain it later. Okay, so for this one, there is few combos. Okay. Okay, so the combo how to play this deck I already posted in my Discord group. So if you are interested, welcome to join my Discord, and I will put the description, the invitation link at the descriptions below. So if you are interested, welcome. And then again, I introduce that Trinity has a weekly events we on dueling and master duel as well. So we are more on dueling focus. So. There will be weekly dueling tournaments, and then I try to integrate more master duel into the group. So hope you all enjoy. Okay, so let's say, let's see, say so here, Cyber Dragon. This is like turn. This is for this Cyber Dragon is more on turn two. Okay, because that you hoping that you have opponents has more monster and you control no monster, so you directly summon this card, then summon another half. Or ah skeleton or anything. So this is basically is for you to turn two. So this I play three. You can reduce to two, but it all depends. Okay, three I think that is the max you can go for two. If you trying to slot in other other orcs, okay. So the hub is a very cool combo because that you can throw this to the graveyard. And then activates and then resummons another orcs from your deck. Okay, and the cyber dragon veil you can reduce the two. I feel that this you not really need to play with three. You can go for two, or you can go back to three. It all depends because this one is for you to additional summon another monster when you summon a cyber dragon. Okay, so you said for example, if you summon a claw or you summon a nester or you summon a cyber dragons, then Quick effect. You can summon this one additionally. Okay, so how to say? Okay, so when this usually that there are few combos. If you are playing cyber dragons, you if you don't have orcs in your hand, okay, so you are only able go for pure cyber dragon combos. Okay, so it all depends. If you have the hub, then it's the best you have in the hand. Then you can continue combo. If not, then Cyber Dragon Veil is basically for you to get access to the Vimana, okay? Because this is a level five, and then this best is that you can get the activations, okay? You can get the activations here, okay? So basically, that if you summons a core, then you summon the Veil, then activate the Cyber Style Evolution. The core effect here is the Cyber Style Evolutions. So you going to use the Cyber Style Evolution twice. And then you can access the Vimana if you at turn one, okay? Because this one is like more on turn one play, but you can go for turn two play as well. But go for turn one, Vimana is the best compared to the Nova, okay? So basically, if you at turn one, if you don't have any ah Orcus combo, you can only go for Cyber Dragon. Then end with the Vimana is the best. Because with the two point six K defense, and you can negate opponents' monster effect. So it's the best. Okay. So scrap recy scrap recycler. I think this is the most common thing. Okay, for everyone. 
and then this is for you to activate throw hard then continue your combo okay cyber dragon Four. what is this okay this is a very annoying card that everyone hates 很多人都很讨厌他的, huh? okay 以前呢, 都是很多人讨厌他, a lot of people hate this card because no matter how if when you play you sure cannot get power but when you're fighting with opponents somehow the system will always let them talk that a call i also don't know why okay so what's with the call you can summon this and then you can get a spell trap okay with the cyber style evolution there are two spells you can get cyber emergency and a power bond and an extra cyber dragon okay so this is where you wanted to choose your card so with this if you don't have any <coughs> cyber dragons then you summon this then you can get the cyber emergency then you can continue your combo okay cyber emergency then you can get the master or you can get veil or anything so basically there's a few combo here okay you summon the call okay summon the call get the cyber emergency okay when you get the cyber emergency summon the nester and then summon the nester the condition is to discard one card so from here you can discard the nightmare you can discard the heart okay so with that you have a orcus combo great right okay so you're going to need to play with three nester and the most important thing is here if this is normal or special summon you can target machine type with 2.1k attack or defense in your graveyard so this is the thing if you activate by discarding the cyber dragon and then you can resummon a cyber dragon onto the field so you have a level 5 and a 1 activate the skill you can go for vimana or you can go for the nova okay so the second is if you summon the nester okay and if that the evening star the ningrid suit is in the graveyard so summon this then you can go for the ningrid suit directly bring up from the graveyard so this that you have two choices one you can go with the cyber dragon nestle for the recovery or you can use the skeleton to resummon the ningrid suit so basically you have two choice but you have four times the risk the revive okay you can see sasso say for four times okay so basically if this go back to graveyard go for nester graveyard nester graveyard nester graveyard skeleton okay so you have four choices here so very good right and then the nightmare is for you to up and then to summon another cards then this is for you to revive and this is for you to get one spent one banish monster back onto the field okay so basically this is the combo and then it depends you can go for barbell or you can go for the orchestra release it all depends okay and then the cycle cosmic cyclone banish then the dark hole dark hole literally is very good in this deck because that is easy to resummon back your monster from the graveyard so basically you just dark hole during half of the progress maybe you until galati then you can just dark hole everything and then you resummon back using the skeleton or you resummon back using the nestle so, okay for the dingusu or the galati for your combo okay so chalice is more is very important here because more on monster effects now and then this is for the grid and then this is a cybernetic overflow that everyone hates okay then long the same thing everybody hates so this is like you can banish your cyber dragons okay and then you can target to destroy equal to the number of your banish okay so if you banish six cyber dragons okay so equal so this and this somehow is a non-targeted effect okay so good right so basically it depends you can play two so i i personally you can go for one thing with two but if for more more destructive you can go for two evening star okay so you can go for one nova and vimana it depends on you okay so two galati and one long bridge suit okay so basically here you have few choices okay you can go for the cyber dragons so it depends you can go for the cybernetic chimera okay so you can 
use the fusions okay because this you can get the power bond okay using your hand or your side attack as okay so again equal to the original attack okay so this this power bond literally is for you to end game okay so if you use that maybe that you can use this to destroy the back row because that you can target up to the number of fusions so if you have two summon down the chimera type you can destroy two do three you can destroy three okay so this one basically you can go for that and then some more power up the rampage dragon then you can send machine then you can pop 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 attack few times okay so this is defense or you can go for the cyber twin dragon directly attack twice so between this and this i more likely i will choose the chimera type because with the additional to break the back row so if you want to go for the direct end game then the cyber and dragon would be the best just use all three cyber dragons and fail come down add up maybe with a total of 8 or 9k bam win unless they have a magical cylinder then no choice lah. okay so basically it all depends this is the three choices i go for the fusions if you are not going for fusions then basically you can go for this way okay so this is this important i think that you can play one or two okay so if you want maybe you can go for two then only for one nova or then dingritsu one basically there are people play with one if you want play with two is also okay then if not then maybe this okay so it all depends you can go for another cybernetic overflow as well okay equals the number cards your opponent control so literally you can destroy everything if you have six destroy everything okay so you have a lot of cyber dragons here so basically here it depends maybe you can reduce this okay then you can go for the first so maybe you can play two of this okay to make it more choices you can have five revives now okay or uh, like that because real is Okay, you can summon. It's more depending on the other cyber dragon, and you hope that this one is just for you to special summon. Okay, so basically you can go with this format. Okay, so confirm wise, call unit three, master unit three. This one cyber dragon you can go for two. I think three is the max. This one you can go to two minimum. Then you can go for three as well. It all depends. Then again, scrap recycler, confirm unit three then this is a cybernetic overflow two right so you can play with two if you want so just switch along within here then maybe you can slot in okay so basically this is a simple introductions on how you go with <coughs> cyber dragons okay uh sorry i try to revert back this one go on with my original okay so let's see the win rate here so basically it has a very high win rate and currently I have platinum rank 7 okay so we can see that how many loss 1 2 3 3 loss okay so basically if I have more than 7 50, more than 50% I feel that the consistency is quite good 50% is the minimum and if you more than 50% uh, to me it considered as a competitive deck some more is with the 3 7 okay it's very good so maybe you can wash up few of the match and then we shall see okay so i save up few of the matches and then let's go on with the favorite play on the 27 okay let's go with the world champs let's see how it goes <coughs> okay again okay, i'm from malaysia so let's go okay so take win and you gain a rank very good cyber style evolutions okay so opponents will start first okay so the summer burn merlin this one is basically i fighting with the noble knight okay this is a very old tier deck and somehow it has a very good synergy with the gear free because this person is playing gear free as well so i also having a very tough time fighting with them but let's see how it goes okay so now my turn so first start off, I directly summon down the Cyber Dragon. It's a free summon. 
use it. Okay, so second, I summon down my Scrap Recycler, throwing down my Orcus Hub. Orcus Hub, summon down the Orcus Nightmare. Let's go with the Galati. Okay, so Galati activates. Okay, so up the attack. Galati activates. Draw one. So I'm drawing the Pot of Grid. Okay, so it returns. Activates. Draw two. Okay, draw two by discarding by releasing my Galati. Okay, so I draw two and now I get the <laughs> Dark Hole. Okay, so the Merlin Defense. Okay, he activates everything now. So recycle, recycle, blah blah blah. Get. He go on with the XC. With the secret Noble Knight. So it destroys everything and this will be summon the Noble Knight. And then I use the Skeleton to revive the Galati and now go on with the Kurisu and put it attack and turn okay so this trigger the destiny draw and noble knight again summon down the noble knight brothers put on with the book of moon close it up okay so msd destroy and i open open up the chalice the gates summon down the gear it activates so with that gear Freed effect is that it can send one equip card and negate an activation and destroy so if I activate effects or anything, I will get destroyed. So this out, never mind. So I summon down the Scrap Recycler just to lure it. And then activate the Gear the gates destroy. So I summon down the Nester. Okay, from here, the Nester, this is where the fun part is. Because as I mentioned, you can target one machine type monster with 2.1k attacks or defense. So with that, I resummon back my Dingritsu and then directly send it to the graveyard. So, wins. So, additionally, you have one more way to revive your Dingritsu now. Okay, good right. Okay, so let's go with this. I also forget this match already. Not sure what is it. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, it's with the... I think this most probably with the Stardust. Okay. It's a very good deck. Strong also. And some more very annoying. Okay, so Cyber Star Evolutions go and then you say will start first. So set 2 and turn. So now summon down the wheel. Okay, Cyber Star Evolutions 5-5 five, five, and now I directly go for the Nova. Okay, so now summon down the Recycler, throw the Harp, activate the Harp, then goes the Office Nightmare, and now we go on with the Galati. Okay, Galati out, power up the Nova. Okay, set one, and then I can activate the Return, draw two, Cyber Emergency, get a Nester on the hands, okay, and now go on with the Dingrid Soul. And vanish attack from here. Activate the Nova. Okay, because you can see that the Nova. Okay, you can special summon one in the graveyard with 2.1. But I don't have. But luckily me that I have a 2.1k on my hand. So I throw it. Become a 4.2 OTK. Direct kill. Yes. This is one of the way to finish your opponents directly. Okay, and now let's go with the slick off. Let's see, we are all at platinum six. So literally, they're using this deck. I've been climbing up the stage from platinum two or three until platinum seven. So considering this deck is quite good, but still there's a losing streak as well. So, but with the end of the game, I think it's to be between three hour streams. For the last stand, at least that I able to go with the Shriek 7 is considered quite good. So now getting the Cyber Emergency here, activate the Cyber Emergency, I getting the Nester. So I now activate the Nester, put down the Harp. So now with that, it's the opening condition for me to continue with the Octus Combo. So first is that I get the Core, the Core I get the Cyber Emergency, then I special summon the nester by discarding one card so i discarding the harp so with that i have call i have a nester and i have harp 
again with the hub, I summon the Nightmare. So this is how you continue with the Opus combo. And now I go on with the Galati. Then Opus activates, pump up the attacks. Then recycle, get one card. So I getting the returns. Okay, so activate the return, discarding the skeleton, draw two. And now I go on with the Dingwitsu. Dingwitsu, get one back, set one, and turn. Okay, so MST, so I prevent it from destroy. So you're using the blue eyes. White 2 Dragon, summon down the alternative and I prevent it again. Okay, so my turn. Okay, so this is the thing. Okay, I sacrifice it so that I can get this because that I was trying to use the skeleton to revive the thing with Su so I can send one card to the graveyard so i now going for that now skeleton bringing back the dingritsu dingritsu send it to the grave so hard go for this so attack this and then again send 4.2 or tk wins 4.5 sorry 4.2 sorry sorry 4.2 or tk wins <clears throat> okay so let's go with this so basically you can see that there is a lot of way to start off with the cyber dragon okay i still not sure yet okay maybe this will go for the divana i'm not sure but let's go with it this one should be the dark magicians i guess okay this most probably be the dark magicians okay it's like a dao ba this yeah, okay, I think should be Magician's Magic. Oh, seriously, I don't really like fighting without Magician's. Very headache. Okay, so this is continue with that. So, summon this now. Let's go for the Galati. Okay, Galati. Put ske okay, Skeleton in. Revive. Can get one card. Setting down the Barbell. Okay, and now with the Dingrid Su. Okay, catch back. Activate. Set two cards. And turn. So now summon down the magical circle and now put down banish my dingrit soup. This is where I hate most because this is a banish. So now attack, summon down this. Okay, so prevent hit over the 2.5k. So now I special summon this now and we additionally I can summon down a build. So cyber star evolutions, let's go. Going for the Nova. <coughs> So now I resummon back the skeleton, resummon back that, recycle my Dingritsu back, and now I can go on with the Dingritsu, and then Dingritsu banish the circle, power up. Okay, so the world one get back the skeleton, and then he using the Dark Magician magic. Okay, and now the Dark Magician is here. So I using the Orchestra Return, so to prevent it, from free draw the gates so the nova power up attack and then he able to resummon back due to the dark magician's effect so attack one okay go gg so activate again the magician circle summon down the dark magicians and then banish my dingrisu again so forbidden chalice okay we both die together 2.9 left almost dead so again same dingris Galati, Galati recycle the Dingrisu, I go for the Dingrisu again and then I banish the Dark Magician Girl direct attack with the 400 and then wins the game since that he cannot get the good cards. Okay, so basically this is how disruptive Orcus deck is, you can keep on recycling, recycling. Okay, let's go with the last one, good energy. So basically this is the basic introduction, this is the in-depth introductions on how to use the Cyber Dragon's Opus. Okay, this is a new variant and then not sure whether this deck will go top tier or meta or tier 3 or anything but surely this is a competitive deck that suitable for everyone. Duo. Duo. Okay, so my first turn, good energy, again this is the Dark Magician's deck. Okay, so Dark Magicians, let's go. Luckily, this is at the first turn. If not, I get banished for nothing. So, now Cosmic Cyclone. Luckily, I top deck a card. So, Cyber Dragon Call. Okay, so I summon down the Veil in response on summon down the Cyber Dragon Call. Okay, so I got a Veil. So, I get the Cybernetic Overflow. 
Okay. So from this, I'm not getting from this part. I'm not getting the cyber emergency to continue with the combo. So I decided to set and turn. So the dark magician magic get the magical cylinder. Okay, return that. So we're going for the conjurer, dark magician girl. So conjurer, Ivana, the gate. Okay, secrets of dark magic. So they going for the dark magicians. Okay, 2.8, negates, activates again, so cybernetic overflow, 1, 2, 3, one, two. so I destroy all, and then in response, he get 2 more for free. <laughs> okay, so he cannot do anything, back to me, and now I'm going for the Galati. So, again, this one, the Nightmare, set up the barbell. Barbell activates and now I'm going for the Evening Star and I banish the Dark Magicians, attack over and turn. So this one is simply to lure it and now he cannot do anything. I win. Okay, so basically this is the basic introductions and in-depth introductions for how to fuse the Cyber Dragon. So how do you all feel with this deck? Is it meta, meta competitive or what? So leave your comments below. Okay, so if you all have any questions how to play or further explanations, I might explain it. So ask it out. I try to explain as good as possible. So hope you go hope you guys like this and then again introduce that we have tournaments in our Discord group. So I'm trying to expand my Discord group as much as possible. So if you're interested, welcome to join my Discord. Welcome to join Trinity Portal. Okay, so that's all for today. So appreciate everyone. So I will be seeing you guys soon in the next video. So sayonara. Thank you. Arigato. Bye bye.